This is my axolotl. Now this is what happens every single game I buy one this weekly. For those of you that don't know, axolotl's whole shtick is that it gives permanent buffs when allied pets get a held food perk. Sure, this can work if you buy food in the shop, but the real use case is pairing it with pets like the bear and snapping turtle, who give foods to allied pets in battle. This proves for super consistent scaling over time on multiple units, that is, until your axolotl gets sniped at the start of battle, giving no permanent buffs in battle. I must caution those of you crazy enough to try running axolotl this week, it is not pretty. Alright, basilisk is good, cricket, fish is stronger here. Be some queen stinkers. You know the type. They're stinkers, but not the reason you think. Alright, well those were some good mosquito snaps, I'll give you that. Get you cooking a little bit. Fantastic, I love this. Dude, we're just getting mosquitoed out here. Basilisk might not be the play this weekly. Straight up. Okay, friend bought. If it is a start of battle, gain two attack. This is a start of battle, so that I think that makes some amount of sense. Maybe we do a foo dog? I would love to do the snail, but that's just not gonna happen. Spider, on the other hand, might be, might be the play. Oh, he got a snail? Come on. Oh, we're off by one. Oh, man. The name of the game, I feel like. We get a start of battle. There's a seahorse, Alchemedes. Maybe we... Try this. Another opportunity for some start of battle triggers. Alright, try this out. Oh, I got the sheep. That is not good. Got the golden the golden doo doo hats. That's how you know he's legit. Start of turn is not start of battle, in case you were wondering. <laughs> this riveting commentary. Um, can we do this? Do we care about a squirrel here? I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I think the food build is dead in this weekly. I don't see the vision. That might be my own shortcoming, my own short-sightedness, if you will, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> the hatching chicks taking on each other at the end. Okay, start me here. Eh, I mean, those aren't great. I think we give you a cucumber, get you cooking a little bit. I mean, dude, is even is Food Dog even doing anything right now? I feel like he's not. <laughs> I'll try it. I don't want to discount him just because it feels like he's not doing anything. You know, he might be putting in work. But I'll tell you, it doesn't feel like he is. Okay, we go here, we level. Yeah, straight up, get him out of here. <laughs> he has lost his privileges. You can't really compete with that. I don't think we need a level 3 spider or nothing. We really don't even need the basilisk here, considering he's a level 1. Doing virtually nothing. Beautiful. We're hanging in there, somehow. Um, get you going a little bit. There's no way to swap stats. That's a little tricky. Normally you can give him a lollipop and scale the heck out of everything. Um, I think
think we're just rolling here. Hold on to you for next turn. Huge. Axolotl ever doing anything for us? With the right build, maybe, but... I mean, we can try it. I'm down to try it. We'll put it that way. Okay. And we're good. We're hanging in there. He's trying a little whale shark bear build. I respect it. Okay, get rid of you. Axolotl, seahorse. Maybe we do like a banana on you. <laughs> it feels kind of weird to do that. I have to admit. We did find the level up here. At least that'll trigger and then we can sell for hopefully a good tier 6 that we get out of it. Maybe. Now importantly, the whale shark is not permanent stats. So when you're buffing it in battle, it's not actually carrying over. Which seems ineffective, I'll say. And we're good. Love it. There's our little monkey homie. Okay, so we start with a level. Get rid of you and your four health. What, what's four health doing, right? It actually might be doing a lot. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. Um, we could give held food for a 2-2 buff. The boy boitada seems alright too. What if we just give you a cucumber? Is that ever good? Probably not. <laughs> I would reckon probably not. Um, we kind of want to get rid of this seahorse, I would think. Okay, um, that the switching around thing didn't really do it for us there. I don't think I liked that. Okay. Give me a roll. Throw an ox in the mix. Really don't think we need to. Get you going. Freeze you. do something like this. Dude, you know what I just thought of? If we had the the ability or the food that would um what is it, chocolate cake? That would be huge with axolotl and bear. Just give every like he nukes himself at the start, but then he gives everybody a bunch of honey. That'd be pretty cool. Well that wasn't very nice. The heck was that all about? Our ox didn't even get to trigger. Um, but we don't have it, so I don't know why I'm freezing the bear. Let's start with a level. Yeah, I mean the ailment thing, I don't think it's really doing much. We know that the bear will trigger before the, the ox, so that's good. Give you a banana. Maybe give you a banana. Ooh, kind of like that. Let's try it. So this way, if you get sniped, that's okay. We don't mind. If the ox gets sniped, we do mind considerably, and that's very bad. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Go here, go here, roll me, huge level up, thank you. We were running an octopus instead of the ox. The ox would be really good, he just gets sniped immediately, he hasn't actually attacked yet. He hasn't even survived past step number one.
Yeah, this this is uh not the play. I don't think the ox is the play here. I think whale shark with a with a bear that might make sense. All right, welcome back to the Snipe Weekly. I will be your host, the one getting sniped and or sniping, I guess. And we're getting a draw. I love getting not a loss <laughs> in the first round specifically. It's just a good feeling, you know? You don't have to worry about the following round at all. If I lose here, I'll still be at five hearts. We've got a lot of these homies here. And they do figure it out. Mana gets it for them. We're back at five, of course, like we said. Early hatching chick is probably my favorite possible scenario here. And I mean, straight up, I'll run a kangaroo. Unlike last weekly, where the minotaur was here, kangaroo actually feels pretty good here. Hmm. Yeah, he, he just had it lined up a little better, I think. Or at least better against me. Do we want a bear? Or maybe a hare? <laughs> I want to try the hare with the axolotl. That's one of my big... Um, goals, I should say. Maybe run it like this. Is there garlic in this weekly? That would be kind of nice. Help deal with the the terrible snipage scourge we've got going here. Let's find out. Hold on. Um, no garlic. E. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of anything here for us. Okay, uh, I think we're just rolling. Look for hatching chick. Look for hair. And yeah, let's see what we can do. An early cucumber might not be bad either. Could give you a health potion since you're gonna override with enemy held foods. There won't be too many held foods as of yet, but coming up soon I'm assuming we'll see some. As we get into the later rounds. Okay, we got a level. Um, Seagull. Yeah, I don't know if I really like Seagull that much. I guess Friend Summoned can also be in Shop, which is interesting. Maybe we try that out? Give him a Cucumber. And then the next guy we summon from the shop also gets a Cucumber. For example, I guess we don't want to do you yet. We could sell the cricket and throw them in, and then they get a cucumber and it's all cool. Hatching chick cucumber, kangaroo cucumber. It's all coming together. <laughs> Everybody gets a cucumber. And we somehow managed to draw that. That's huge. All right, time to get rid of you. You're the most important to have the cucumber. An eagle seems interesting. And straight up, I think we do hatching chick here. Kinda like stingray too. Let's just combine you. <laughs> Let's not get too crazy here. Uh, we should probably have put the eagle in front of the kangaroo, I'm thinking. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it'll matter too much. But I think this turn we probably should. Um, okay. Maybe it's time to get rid of the seagull now. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the seagull. He seems... in At least in this weekly, I should clarify. He doesn't seem like he's doing a whole lot. But maybe that's just me. I might be the... The hater here. Q 
give you a blueberry. Hopefully you can pull some snipes your way since you're a summon. Okay. And we're cooking. We're going back. We're on the up and up, y'all. This is how it begins. A cow. Interesting. Throw it on you. And then straight up, I think we do this. Get a Mosasaurus. We could buy, sell the beaver for maximum gold efficiency, but I'd rather roll here. I think rolling is really important. Do this. We found an axolotl, which is huge. Yeah, I like this. We are so close to drawing that one. I hate it. I hate it all. Okay, get rid of you. Axolotl you. And we get up to three per battle if he actually gets to attack, which is not a guarantee. Alright. Wonder if we want Hatching Chick behind you now. Even if he does get to attack, <laughs> one is not guaranteed that he's even going to have a, a food to steal. And two, our axolotl just keeps getting sauced. What's that all about? Okay, run it like this. And I think we do that. Keep you a little bit out of like a crocodile line of fire. And again, they don't have anything here. This is crazy. <laughs> Can't do nothing out here this weekly. Um, okay. I mean, cow is tempting. I feel like, I mean, we're so close to this hatching chick working. I kinda just wanna try getting him going. Okay, now you're at least going to give other people 2-2, two, two, if that'll matter at all. Alright, see that's like, that's the dream. That's what we're hoping to see here. <laughs> it just never seems to work out like that. We could Tiger behind the Axolotl. Considering you're just getting absolutely mega stomped every time maybe that's worth it so you're gonna max out pretty quick here i would imagine maybe we don't do that level three kangaroo still gonna do absolutely nothing of course <laughs> quite literally nothing He's just soaking up crocodiles at this point. And maybe that's all he needs to do, you know? Maybe. Okay. Um, let's... Let's roll a little bit. The axolotl we might be getting rid of once you're 50-50. Right, because like, what, what else is he going to do? Not a whole lot. Throwing a stingray, maybe? I want to get this hatching chick cooking. But he's just not really... Not really doing it. Um... Alright, well there we go. There's the hatching chick that we're looking for. Maybe we can pivot into a team spirit build. Yeah, let's try this. Kangaroo is just having a horrible time. It actually worked. 
There is no shot we win that. Absolutely no business winning that. Alright. We'll take it. And we roll here. If we can get a team spirit, that'd be huge. We did not. I think we, we level you. Hold on to you. Then straight up, I think we're going to get rid of the kangaroo next. Give the team spirit more to work with. Okay. Is this enough to get us there? I'm not convinced that it is. It is probably not. Maybe? No. Five off. You hate to see it. Okay, we go here. Set you up now. I think we get rid of the kangaroo here in preparation for team spirit buffs. You might be worth it. Um, Puma, probably not. Yes, <laughs> I mean Octopus, right? Just a better version in some ways. Okay, let's do it like this. Throw you in here. Give you a chocolate. What are you? 15, 15, level 3. Yeah, that's pretty good. gonna say we could have gotten the octopus level two but he's not gonna attack let's be real <laughs> this guy this guy's not gonna see the light of day just insta sniped okay and we're actually doing okay we survived the snipe onslaught at least for now Um, I think we do this. I'm tempted to get switch out the hatching chick, but we've got too much too much experience to give. Sure. I'm still feeding into the octopus, but if we can get the team spirit cooking, I'll take it. This guy's got two butterflies. That is terrible news. <laughs> Should have went snipes. We could have sniped his butterflies. I like the fish, and I like the snake. I think I can make myself like three crickets. Some big fanboys. That works, I guess. We'll take it. We go here, and then we roll. I was hoping to see a fish there, but so be it. Not quite going to be enough. The 1 4 gets us. We're back up to five. No harm, no foul. We'd go like a elephant blowfish vibe. Kind of looking out in the future here, but let's try it. We can run it like this. Or we throw a snail in the mix. That seems even better. Yeah, let's do that. The elephant had four attack. <laughs> we would be cooking right now. <laughs> oh, those those hits were brutal. I mean, I'll take a level. Boo dog, huh? I'll try it. And I guess we do this.
Can we get through the dog? Let's find out. We can. Still getting draws, which aren't fantastic. Start me with a level. I mean, straight up, I'll try the whale shark. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be good. And I think we're rolling here. Elephant is solid. There's no reason to feed the whale shark this early, I don't think. I think I'd rather get a few levels and develop the team some more. Once you start dumping all your money into food, kind of just stagnating yourself, you know? Fantastic. And high key would probably avocado this one. Food dog up in here. All right, with three gold, I think this is understandable. I think it's a reasonable thing to do. Dang, dude, cracking out here, taking names. Okay, food dog level me, axolotl. That fits pretty well in our setup here. Throw you in. Roll me. Straight up, I think we just do this. We'll throw the elephant in the back here. So he doesn't nuke anybody behind him. And I think bear is pretty solid too. As far as axolotl combos go. Okay, we're doing it. We're getting there. And let's see, so you can probably go. I'm trying to think, is there anybody here that we just want like a ton of health on? Scorpion actually. We can find a few food dogs with a scorpion. That could be okay. Um, we didn't lose last round, right? So we can do this. Now we roll. Huge. Hold on to you. Guess we'll hold on to you as well. Just keep getting scale and cooking. Um, that's rude. <laughs> but we're okay. I'll let it slide this time. Okay, Seagull. Yeah, I wish Seagull and Axolotl had a little more overlap, but they really don't. I'm actually thinking we... Ooh, okay. Here we go. You run an octopus here? Is that ever the play? My problem with octopus is how often are we actually gonna see it trigger, <laughs> right? Because most of the time when you run an octopus, you're just straight up, he's getting nuked and he's not attacking ever. Which is a shame, you know? That's not at all what we're hoping for. We do this, I think. You know, get the octopus scaling 2-2 two, two every turn, ideally. Nominally, we'll say. Um, hence the nominally. <laughs> Very rarely does it ever actually work. Okay, so let's go here. And here. So you're gonna take some of the flack, ideally. That's pretty good. It's not freeze foods. Let's look for some chocolates where we can find them. Hmm. Not quite there. Not quite there. Go here. I mean, realistically, we can probably toss you here. I don't know if we're going to find another one. 
give two. I guess we can roll one time. Okay. So I think we do this. Go here, perhaps. Do a little buy sell and on the skewer here, I think. Get the octopus cooking a little bit. We're just trying out some ideas, see what sticks, you know? Okay, this is looking good. We take those. <laughs> I'm not sure what his team was doing, but I'll take it. Roll me. Here, 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 I think is the play. Just get some efficient gold usage here. See, should that not... I guess it's two random enemies, so it can't be the same enemy. Is that the idea? I would have thought the lynx would hit the, the bear three times. That evidently is not what's happening. I must be missing something. Alright, let's look for levels here. I think levels would be fantastic. There's one. Hold on to you. Hopefully we can get the snapping turtle. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we'll get you cooking as well. I guess steak on you would probably be decent too, wouldn't it? That is not ideal. Elephant blowfish cooking. Level you. Go here, freeze you. Throw you on. I mean, I would normally say this is fantastic getting a level 3 octopus, but it doesn't feel very fantastic lately. <laughs> Maybe though, we'll see. This is looking okay. Yeah, we're alright. Okay. This seems to take forever for it to actually do anything. And you really don't want it to be in front of these guys, because that's a majority of its scaling right there. That's kind of tricky. But there's so many snipes that it's hard. Okay. Can we draw? That That's fine, I think. Maybe. Fine-ish. Start me here. I think we just do this, right? And I don't think fried shrimp is worth anything, so we can just roll a couple times. Hang on to some held foods, I guess. See if we can get our whale shark high enough. Put him in the way back, I think. Just to catch some snipes kind of idea. Okay. We didn't really catch snipes. But we're okay. We are okay. We're hanging in there. Even in this week, the octopus is still kind of goaded. I would love to axolotl. I really would. I'm afraid it's just far too late at this point. Do we need potatoes? That's what we need here. Dude, all these bees are making it so much worse for us. <laughs> 